Hey, dear Brad, Mother's Day's coming up. You got any special plans? I don't know what to do. My mom's birthday is the same week as Mother's Day. Whoa, uh, that's like having your birthday on Christmas. Yeah, so normally I just kind of wait till the last minute and then panic a little and go get a card or like a plant or something. Well, uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like a very uh, good strategy to hit, Brad. I don't recommend it. But, do you know who else's birthday is coming up? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I noticed one. Uh, it's, uh, Emilio Estevez. Quack, 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 no, quack. No, 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 that's not what I was thinking. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. It is, Brad. Okay, that's great. But I was talking about Mary Anning. Uh, why should we talk about a French lady who got a head cut off? Well, that's Marie Antoinette. We're not talking about her today. But Mary Anning was a British paleontologist who worked in the early to mid-1800s, a time when women could not attend college. Wow, uh, that's amazing! So, uh, how did she become a paleontologist if she couldn't go to college? The Anning family were self-taught paleontologists, so they looked for fossils around the Jurassic-aged rocks at the Dorset Cliffs of England, where they lived. You, uh, you said, uh, fossils from the Jurassic, uh, so did they find any dinosaurs? Uh, no, they found a lot of ammonites and bellumnites and other animals that lived in the oceans. Oh, yeah, those are those, uh, ancient squids, right? Uh, like that fossil, uh, Dave Carson showed us. Uh, yeah, they're related to that kind of animal. And she even found a fossilized ink sac in these relatives of squids and octopus. Oh, wow, that's a crazy thing to find. Uh, did she discover anything else? A whole lot. She found one of the first important skeletons of an ichthyosaurus, a type of marine reptile, when she was about 11 years old. 11? That's amazing! Yeah, and she also found multiple skeletons of plesiosaurs, another type of marine reptile, and those were described by paleontologist William Buckland, who described the first dinosaur, and Richard Owen, who invented the word dinosaur, which is Greek for terrible reptile. Oh, uh, that sounds like good company to keep, you know, working with Mr. Dinosaur himself. <laughs> yeah, it would seem that way, but she didn't get credit for a lot of her discoveries until long after they were published, just because she was a woman. No way! That's not fair! What a backwards way to be thinking! I know, seriously. And that's still not everything that she discovered. There's more? She was one of the first people to find a pterosaur, or flying reptile, outside of rock deposits in Germany where they had been found before. And she discovered that small stones found in the bellies of ichthyosaurs were actually fossilized poops. Fossil poop? Who wants to study that? It seems gross. Remember, the poop is fossilized, so it's a rock. It is important to study to understand what animals were eating. And William Buckland was the first person to describe these and gave Mary Anning credit in his publication where he named these poops coprolite. That's good, uh, he finally realized she knew her, uh, stuff. Yeah, and she also got credit for the idea that fossil animals went extinct. Because people used to think that all the plants and animals that are on the Earth always existed the way that they are and would continue to exist that way unchanged. So they found dinosaur bones and giant reptiles and thought those things still live somewhere on the Earth? That's right. Many of Earth's rainforests hadn't been very well explored at that time, and so they thought it was possible that dinosaurs still lived in those parts of the world. That's nuts, man. Uh, I can't believe people used to think that. <laughs> it helps you appreciate all the science in our everyday lives today, doesn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. So Mary Anning is a founding mother of the science of paleontology. She discovered important specimens of ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, ammonites, pterosaurs. She discovered that poop fossilizes and that animals went extinct. What a rasta! And uh, when do we celebrate the, uh, the birthday of this uh, paleo pioneer? 
Mary Anning was born on May 21st, 1799. Do you know how old that makes her? I do not, Brad. Enlighten me. <laughs> she will turn 220 years old this year. All right, dear Brad. Uh, that was an interesting side road. Uh, but what are you going to get her? Uh, well, Mary Anning is unfortunately no longer with us, so I'm getting her nothing. No, Brad. I'm talking about your mom! Oh! Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got to figure that out. I will catch you later, Otis. <laughs> you get out of here, buddy. Uh, the clock is ticking. <laughs> uh, well, folks, uh, that's our show for this week. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all you brave souls out there handling business day in and day out. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for more... Ungraded! Ungraded. Hey, I thought you were still going there, buddy. Get out of here! <laughs>